As far as creating rigs from scratch goes, I wanted to just create a, another one from scratch with you so that we could kind of get the hang of not only doing a bipedal rig but something a little bit different because that's really where CAT starts to shine. So let's just go to create geometry or helpers, CAT objects and make a new CAT parent. We'll make sure that none is chosen and just drag out a CAT parent. Just right click to stop the creation process and go into the modify panel. We'll scroll down here and click on create a pelvis and just move that pelvis into place. So for this we're going to create a multi-leg character uh, with some sort of tail. So let's just go and add a leg and then we're going to adjust this leg so that it kind of fits the type of character that we want. So we'll take this bottom piece and rotate it out to the side. Move that out like so. And rotate our top of the leg here. As well as this out. And our character will have very skinny legs here at the bottom. So we'll just adjust on X and Y that scale can also adjust the width and the depth if you wish from the rollouts. Now I think here at the bottom we'll add some twisty bones as well so we'll go into number of segments and just set this to three and then when I'm happy with that I'm going to go and add a couple of more legs so I'll click on the hub and of course the advantage to adjusting this one and getting it the way that I want first is when I click on add leg it's going to add one to the other side here and it's going to match the same attributes that we made from the right side so now we'll go ahead and just add a couple more click on add leg there and I'm actually going to copy the attributes from this leg and paste them onto this one they don't need to be mirrored they're just going to be for that set. And we'll move this leg into position. So we're going to move that and we'll move that guy up a little bit and this one back. Might just reposition this leg a little bit forward as well. So when I'm happy with those positions I can add my fourth leg. So we'll just go ahead and select that pelvis and click on add leg again and we'll pair it with the one that we just made so I'm gonna click on add leg and you see it mirrors it on the other side there which is great so I can take this pelvis maybe I want to bring it down a little bit here these legs need to be aligned so I'm gonna copy this one because I move that forward I just want to make sure it's in the right place so we'll use the paste mirror just so that everything's in the correct place and go ahead and add a tail. Click on add tail and then just start to position that tail where we want it. Rotate that into place and you can see that during animation or here we can kinda curl these all just kinda bring this up maybe that's the way that our character is modeled and now I think we'll go in and just add a simple neck and head to the character. So we'll click on Add Spine and select the root of that spine. Just move it forward and rotate it. Just going to adjust the X and the Y for that guy. And we'll probably reduce the amount of bones, so we'll reduce this to 3. just rotate this head up now while we're doing this why don't we just take a quick look how this will look with some motion on it 
and whenever I'm setting up a rig I kinda like to do this so we'll just go over to the motion panel and add a quick cap motion layer just press play so we can kinda see what's going on there so that's overall pretty cool uh, we have you know some things that are going out of bounds the leg back here is going too far back and things like that and that's stuff that we'll fix in cap motion later but overall uh, everything's kinda working the way that we want so we'll pop back into setup mode and go back to modify and what I'm gonna do now is just add a couple of extra bones that could be considered facial bones or anything else so with this selected we'll click and just say add bone and it will add a bone to our character we're gonna bring this in and maybe just make this kind of the jaw of the character it's gonna be linked to this root and we can scale it up so it kind of fits what we want and we can click on add bone a couple of times there and select all of these and kind of just curve them so they fix the character and it looks like I added one extra bone here um, but that's kind of helpful um, in the sense to just kind of show that we can just delete that uh, without any problem and it's not going to kind of destroy our rig or do anything like that so those are going to be connected to the head here and we can just go ahead and add another set for the top here so click on add bone and add as many bones as you like so this is a really rudimentary uh, start to something that you might do like a facial rig or something like that and this is just going to control the jaw of maybe a lizard like character or a beak of some sort and you can adjust that how you want So we'll just pop back into cat motion really quick and play this guy back. All right, so we can see how you can create all sorts of different custom rigs with this. And of course, you know, this is nice to see the procedural walk cycle go and the head and the motion of the tail work automatically. But uh, when we get more into animation, you'll see that you can completely customize to pose to pose, keyframe animation, procedural animation or anything that you want there but as far as doing custom rigs you can pretty much build any sort of rig that you want with cat which is a really great feature of such a nice procedural system to give you the flexibility to build any sort of rig at all